that's a beautiful Aptera there. This is a video about a manufacturing strategy for Aptera. There's an Aptera on the road. We're going to go quickly here to one of the founders of Aptera. By the way, a solid company, solid founders. This is their Italian partner, CPC. They are involved in forging carbon fiber. Uh, stamping it as you would steel. What uh, Aptera has done under the aegis of um, Monroe is they have completely re redesigned this vehicle. And I thought the redesign of the rear wheel was the key element here, but this entire body has been redefined. The manufacturing de technique has been redefined. Um, there's an aluminum belly pan. Now, I mean, this is one, two, three. I think this is the fourth generation of the Aptera. And it, uh, now Sandy Monroe right there, you know he's invested in Aptera. I do believe he owns 100,000 shares of Aptera. So he has a uh, skin in the game here, and he has been behind all of this. And if you look at that body, could it be any better? Now, the, the question I'm raising is, right now, Aptera is raising money, too. And they're prototyping their manufacturing uh, techniques. Why not go asset light? Now, um, this is a waterfall kind of chart uh, uh, with the progress of Foxconn. Um, their role in manufacturing over the, oh, I believe they initiated in 1970 under Terry Gow. Uh, and there's a new chairman now who is charming where he's going to be coming up next. But you can build a factory. Now, when you build a factory, an automobile factory, you're looking at a prospect of, you know, multiple hundreds of millions of dollars, or you could do asset light manufacturing, which is contracting out a third party to do contracted, does a CDMS contract design manufacturing services. I'm going to let the chairman of Foxconn tell you about this. Greetings to our international friends. Thank you for connecting into the third annual Honghai Tech Day. Today is a celebration. Foxconn is showing off its fourth and fifth concept prototype EVs. The first made in Taiwan pickup and a sporty crossover hatchback. Commercial production is happening this year for our award-winning urban electric bus and a family SUV. Our lineup of five EVs in the past 24 months is to show our customers and future customers that we can design and build EVs that are good looking and can stand up to safety production ready. Foxconn is not in the business of selling its own EV brand, but yet, we want our customers to sell a lot of EVs. Our commitment is to our customers. Foxconn is your reliable and trusted partner in manufacturing and design. We are building the EV ecosystems with focus on time to market and time to cost. Foxconn is a total solutions provider in EVs. From design to build, we have the capabilities. Foxconn is a bespoke solutions provider in EVs. We're ramping up production in Ohio to realize the EV dreams of four unique customers. One of them is a tractor. Despite the challenges of conflict in Europe and COVID globally, Foxconn has maintained our EV strategy. Our build, operate, localized strategy is about developing 
regional manufacturing ecosystems. Supply chain resilience has always been FastCon's DNA. Our global footprint in 24 countries gives us a huge advantage to meet EV industry demands. We are here to innovate for the good. Thank you. That was Young Lee, CEO of Foxconn presently. Great, charming guy. Here's a local news piece on the Lordstown effort that's really critical. Foxconn Listen is to talking this big. VP of Operations Rick Raji said 20 groups may want to produce an electric vehicle here. Okay, 20 groups um, may want to, now they've couched that, may want to um, create a vehicle here. Uh, Lordstown Motors uh, is one company that has gone asset light and allowed uh, Foxconn to manufacture their truck for them. Now, <clears throat> Foxconn manufactured iPhones for many, many years. We all know the quality uh, that is in the DNA of, of Foxconn. Uh, the present CEO is committed to pivoting the entire company and putting all of the financial and intellectual assets of Foxconn behind their contract design manufacturing services for battery electric vehicles. Um, the plant right now, uh, their headquarters, Global Pivot Headquarters, is a six million square foot plant auto plant that has been totally refitted at a cost now of over 500 million but the 500 million dollars up to the point uh foxconn took it over and they have been improving it since then um the point is this there is an opportunity for aptera now i know they have done substantial amount of work on their manufacturing processes and so forth um, here is my two cents on the present state of things. Um, I've done, I did a sales forecast on Aptera based on the present price range and uh, what I think the demand in the, in the United States could possibly be. Um, several hundred thousand units. And that's just in the United States. Uh, now, that's an estimate. We don't know for sure. That requires a flawless launch, which I'm sure Sandy Monroe is going to guarantee here. Um, the point is, um, as with other BEVs, um, when the wait time is too long, customers are going to walk. Um, so they need to, Aptera, it is my opinion, they need, they're going to need to scale quickly. Uh, to meet demand. And one of the things that Foxconn can do is allow Aptera to turn manufacturing on and off. So if they need a big burst of units uh, to start, uh, Foxconn can do that run. If their demand slackens, they can s stop manufacturing and so forth. Uh, on the asset side, now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, you know, several hundred millions of dollars to build a conventional battery electric vehicle manufacturing factory. And I'm sure, sure Sandy Monroe is deep in this and knows exactly what he wants to do. Um, and there, it appears to me right now, building prototype manufacturing processes that I believe they said they're going to scale with small regional manufacturing centers. I, I would just put a bug in, in the founder's ears and in Sandy Monroe's ear. You know, you've got Foxconn here that is going to succeed at this. They have put the full weight of their corporation behind this. You know, they're as big as Google, Google bigger than Microsoft. This is... I believe uh, Elon Musk just said a Chinese firm is going to be the number two um, 
as a competitor to Tesla, and I believe that's going to be Foxconn. Now, what uh, Aptera can do is um, they can take the work they've done and that they're doing, they can do a transfer, technology transfer to Foxconn. Foxconn is setting up what they call over there the, the Voltage Valley. They're going to have hundreds of suppliers, factories adjacent to their manufacturing facility. And certainly the CPC, the Italian firm doing the press carbon fiber, tech, theoretically could locate a plant there, as well as any other um, uh, supply line uh, members that they've lined up. And they can have a contract manufacturing uh, agreement with Foxconn to put out these units. Now, I would tell you that from this location in Ohio, uh, they can bring in materials from anywhere in the world, and they can ship finished product out to anywhere in the world. There are Great Lakes shipping lines. There are rail lines. There, the, the connectivity in the United States is just fantastic. From This is why this plant was cited where it is cited, for logistics reasons. So, um, I guess what I'm, what the point I'm coming to here is uh, Aptera can build factories. And they're going to have a CapEx expense on that. They're going to have an OpEx expense on that. Uh, they're going to have maintenance and everything else. Or they can move to a contract manufacturing agreement um, with Foxconn and go that route. And I think since actually part of the consortium that's running Foxconn's global BEV headquarters there is Lordstown Motors, MIH, and Foxconn. Aptera is an MIH member. And MIH is a really a series of standards among different suppliers to uh, make parts interchangeable and so forth. Anyway, I think this makes perfect sense this will allow um, Aptera to scale up production to meet high demand and lower production uh, when demand is not as high and also will alleviate them from CapEx and OpEx expenses and allow them manufacturing and global distribution uh, from one location. Anyway, that's my two cents. Uh, I have an order in on Aptera. I have in the description a link if you would like to order an Aptera, and I would suggest that you do get in line for an Aptera. Uh, there is a link in my description that will give you a discount on the uh, $100 de refundable $100 deposit they charge. And I think it... Uh, it uh, knocks uh, 20 or 30 percent off that amount. Anyway, this is MXUX. Hi, everybody at Aptera. I hope you're doing well. The, the vehicle is fantastic. I have nothing to say about the vehicle. The vehicle is perfect. All right. Good luck in the market. <laughs>